What's up everybody? Today we're gonna to talk about how to turn your fasting machine water drip tank into a wine refrigerator on the Gem Cutters Craft. So for one reason or another, it seems like the drip tanks of the fasting machine world always have something wrong with them. They don't exactly work correct and either they're hard to control uh, the drip is inconsistent or it just doesn't work very well. Um, so I've got a quick and dirty little hack that we're going to use in order to change out our stock uh, drip tank controller for something a little bit nicer. So this tip comes from the Polymetric Users Group Forum. There was a kind gentleman on there that gave me this tip a couple years ago and I've been using it for a while and it's really, really nice. So whether you're using this old style Ultratech um, drip tank, I think this will work. I know that this hack's gonna work on the Polymetric drip tank and it definitely also works on the Sterling uh, drip tank, which is what we're going to be using it on today. So if you're using the polymetric one to take this thing off, you simply need to unscrew it. Now the reason why I don't like this one, I don't know, this just doesn't work very well. If you want to turn the drip on, you've got this plastic thing. It's hard to turn, it squeaks, and it doesn't control the water drip very well. Either it's too fast or it's too slow not very user friendly. So we can either unscrew this one or if you're using the Sri Lankan machine, I know that this works for the stock drip tanks for there. So all you need to do is unscrew this. It just screws right out of the plastic. And uh, I'm not gonna unscrew this one because I've got another one unscrewed over here. So this is my Sterling drip tank with the original valve removed. Now here's the secret, you need one of these. I got this in either a Lowe's or a Home Depot in America. This is a valve for a refrigerator ice maker. It's about $10 and it works perfect for what we need it to do. So there's two parts to this thing. Well, really there's three. We've got the valve here. So the whole thing's brass. So what's great about this is when you turn the valve, the action's really, really nice. It controls the water really, really well and it's threaded over here. So all you need to do is screw it right in to your drip tank. And it goes in pretty easily. Oh, it looks like I did it a little bit crooked, but I've, I've had this in there before. I just took it out today to change the hose. And as I was putting it back together, I thought this is a great time to share this little hack with you guys. So just screw it in. Yeah, that's pretty good. The only other thing you need besides the valve is this hose. Uh, I don't know what size hose this is. Maybe when you pick up this thing at your local hardware store, you can pick up the tube as well. But what we need to do here, we're going to take off this screw. Inside of here, we've got this little thing. All you need to do, stick that into the hose, and then put the other end of the hose into this nut and if it's the right size which I'm not totally sure this one is the right size maybe it's not going to work that good but then uh, you just need to screw it in and no this one's not the right size I got another one I wasn't sure so I got this one as well so let's try this one and see if it works a little bit better than the other one same thing, I'm just gonna stick this in here. This one's a lot snugger. It's harder to get in there, but it should hold tightly. So, got that. Stick this in here. Stick this in here. So now we've got this big crazy hose off here, but it can't come out. And it does move, which I hope isn't gonna leak shouldn't leak since it's in there so tightly. Um, if I was gonna do that on the polymetric, I'd do the same thing. You can unscrew it right here, and that threaded part goes right into there. This is the new style polymetric one. And then on this old Ultratech one, this thing comes off, but there might be a little bit of a trickiness. You might actually have to cut this thing to put it in there, I'm not really sure. But uh, luckily I don't have to do it for this one because I'm doing it for this one. 
So then once you have this in here, then basically put it on your machine and figure out how long you want it to be and then you can just snip it where it needs to go. So for me, I can stick this right on here and then maybe I'm just gonna cut it here and then hopefully it should be long enough wherever I need it to go. Uh, and then I should just be able to aim it around a little bit by moving that thing. And then I suppose if it's not strong enough because this hose is a little bit more flexible than I was anticipating, I suppose as another element of my DIY hack, I could tape a paper clip on here just to give it a little bit more rigidity. But I think even swooping down like that should be okay. It's pointing water right at the middle and I can easily turn this on and off. So maybe there's a little bit of playing around to get this thing to stick out just the way you want it. So just a quick, simple tip for the middle of the week to maybe improve your fastening experience by at least 1%. I hope that helped. If so, please feel free to like, share, subscribe, or just ignore all that and go on to the next one. This is Justin K. Prim, sweating out here in Bangkok with you guys. Check you next time, later.